this is KR Rickbot, and I finally got something worth reviewing that nobody else has really reviewed in this capacity. My content's been more Carbot than Towbot, not just because Toy Rock makes a whole lot of more products than Young Toys, but also because of the fact that Dobot has not really been reissued ever. Except in other countries outside of Korea, including Amazon's official Towbot store, where they still have a couple of those old classic Towbots. Most of them. Oh no, low in stock! Which brings us to today's subject. Towbot Mini Champion, one of the few Amazon Towbots that was selling out. Mini Champion, one of the many not sold in Korea Mini Towbot Combiners. And from Tobot Athlon Season 2, in case you needed that reminder. But you won't get that from the packaging alone because it's just a Tobot logo. Doesn't say anything about Athlon. I really wish they just made the subline Tobot Athlon here. No indication at all. Except for Kyle's racing track jumpsuit. Yeah, big. Tobot logo, shiny Tobot logo there. Most powerful integration ever. Three cars combined. So the back of the box shows the standard CG photos. Alpha transforms into torso, Theta transforms into arms, and Beta transforms into legs. Most powerful three-part integration. And the difficulty level here, change up difficulty level. It's very easy, easy peasy. So here are the mini champion cars, Alpha, Beta, and Theta. And the thing about these miniature Tobot cars is that they're really tiny. Yeah, look, the, 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 these are really tiny cars. This is tiny. And this is a little fat and tiny. Fat, tiny little car. Yeah, just bringing out all the cars here. I guess it looks like Alpha's the biggest one of the bunch. Not sure if that's scale accurate either. I think at least Beta might be similar in size with their individual mini toys, those one pop changers, which I can't get nor do I want to. Enough said! What did you break and how did you break it? This miniature alpha in white and metallic red striping. There's some paint in there and um... It looks like the roof has been scuffed up considerably. I'm not sure if it was scuffed up on the factory floor or the returned kids box. And also there's some more paint scratching on the metallic red painted beers. At least there are the screw holes in the exhaust and not some other unsightly place. Although yeah, this is because of the simplification, the, this thing is just left with big gaping holes. The front bonnet's pretty nicely decked out with the raised painted red trapezoid and the raised painted one and this raised painted triangle which I am assuming is a delta symbol to go along with the theme of alpha, beta, theta. This beta is the Kia license thing, the K5 parentheses Optima. Although it's very tiny, tiny, and somewhat super deformed truncated, it seems. They're pinned, but still a bit friction, and also they're looking a too big. These look too big compared to the car. And also really unsightly rounded hinges because of how the simplified transformation goes. This thing has no Kia branding anywhere, not any little indent or the printed Kia or even stickers. Interesting to note that these are darker metallic red painted stripes and the tail lights are also painted in metallic red. Complemented by the painted black windows. And a big fat spoiler. Miniature Champion Theta, this little compact electric micro rally car, rally racer car. Although I think it looks chubbier compared to the official bigger toys. The paint job is still pretty good with these metallic red stripings even in like three different little 
dips there. That could have been easy to shortcut and not paint it there, but the fact that he did it is commendable. And there's that kind of his theta symbol there, which is cut in half. And the nicely painted white headlights and grill and the black windows. Nothing at the rear though, all of it went to the front. Which is okay. Thicker and taller car. They roll just fine, but not as well as I thought they would. Now for the combination and comparing them to their bigger counterpart transformations. Pretty similar. For Alpha, you detach the front bonnet, which is attached on this little C clip here, which I think some kids will be breaking if they're just really reckless with this. Or just jam something in there. Take the little crotch piece, this crotch latch, and then just fold it down like this. Yeah, just detach that and simply fold down this chest. The bigger champion conceals this arm port by having an entire slider section so that this thing just slides out. But yeah, this is just three hinges for this little thing. And as such, the head is really back there. Anyway, so yeah, while the big champion beta had an extra sliding joint to hide the hinge joints, this thing just simply hinges from the get-go. And this leg part folds in from the back and not opening up and revealing it out from the front. Pretty simple solution. And the little octagonical clicking ratchet joints are reversed on the mini version. That is like the bigger champion has its plugs on the torso, but these have it on its legs. And Champion Theta, split them in half like the big one, turn it around, no fist sliding joint, and the arm joints are simply right under here, unlike the bigger one which has it hidden inside here and this compartment opens and you would swing it out from here, but it, it's just from the underside here. One, two, three. Of the couple of Tobot mini combiners I've handled, I would easily say that Champion is one of the best ones out there because this is a really good scaled proportionate downscaling even though it's not a one-to-one -one downscaling, but yeah, it still looks, the proportions are there. There really is no re-engineered transformation simplification solutions and it is one of the better articulated Tobot toys. For one, it has forward and backwards soft ratchets Unlike that, a ratcheted knee there, you can see actually see the ratchet joint in there. And because of how it reverses, this leg bend is, this knee bend is much more articulate than the big champion. The arms are on full 360s, unlike that. Transformational soft ratchet bicep swivels. Yeah, but really no inward and outward at all because I think the big one would have allowed a more wider spread, but because of how the peg just swings the promote in under here and not like this, yet yeah, you're not getting any outer spreads with this thing. Just a confident, confident pose. That's about the best you're gonna get from those arms. And of course, nothing at the head. But later I realized this head is a separate part. Yeah, there's a screw hole right under there. And it's one of those intentionally molded fixed heads with those three little tabs in place. So I'm going to snip them off. Nothing to see here. Now he has a do-it-yourself head swivel. Not sure how useful that's going to be with all the stuff in the front of him, but at least he has a head swivel. The foot articulation is useless because this is loose because it only locks into two places. 
Yeah, if you see there's like a little nub there, it just is only designed to lock into two places and that's it. No in-betweens, no soft swivels or anything. Missed opportunity for the foot kick thing. And I really do like this sleek aesthetic combiner physique. Like an athlete. The legs are pretty slender with those car boot shoes. And some hydraulic piston detailing on both sides, although unpainted. And as I said before, the different articulation simplification allows more leg articulation and no back kibble hanging out from the back. Still has those little thrusters molded in there with the screw hole right in there. And also because of that simplified transformation, I feel that these legs are shorter than they should be. That white torso with the matched red striping really does give a good colorful focal point. Like a white suit. And that classic Tobot head that kind of looks like a programmable android bot and not a superhero face bot. And the arms just have that good, pretty good bulky physique. Especially from the side. Because when, yeah, from the front it's pretty thin, but from the side you can really see how strong these look. A bit unfortunate there is no paint here at all, like the yellow on there. But since that was just a really small accent color, it doesn't really affect the overall look. And this is just by the nature of the design, but yeah, but it's still really a little annoying how the majority of the car kibble goes on the inside of the arm and not the outside. This was with a big champion, and then why did they do that kind of design on the mini Triton? Size comparisons, he's obviously bigger than the typical Deluxe and Voyager but smaller than the old leader class. The cars are small, but all combined together, it doesn't look out of place with this size scale. The original Tobot Athlon Champion holds up, and so does this miniature version. Yeah, it's like the exact same, just with a few minor differences, but yeah, but this, you're still getting a really good, fairly articulate toy for the kitties. Not that articulate. But still, I mean, I guess enough for the kitties. But I seriously doubt they're going to repaint this mini champion into a mini grand champion. Unless some shady factory decides to knock off those and knock off colors. Well, anyway, I got this because it was dwindling in stock, and for $35, and for $35, it's decently worth it. I mean, this is $30, and this is $35, so... A bit of a difference there. I mean, this is smaller, but much more highly articulated and such the big boy stuff, but this is a slightly bigger, but not too big for the little kitty stuff. But for the all ages stuff, yeah, this is pretty good too. But it's not on Amazon anymore, so if you really want this, you're gonna have to go to other sites like AliExpress. So let's go into beating some knockoffs. Everyone loves knockoffs, but there are several differences on the box. If you're trying to discern whether a mini champion online listing is the real or the fake, the obvious difference is the wheels. These are real metal pinwheels, as the although they don't roll that well, but still, the real ones will have these metal pinned roller silver wheels, while the knockoffs will noticeably have just plain black clip-on wheels, because only cheap-out companies would use metal-saving plastic pin wheels, oh wait. And there will be some paint shortcuts like missing paint, no paint, and some sloppy paint, all that stuff, so as long as you look at those things, you should be fine in finding real-deal Tobots. 